some really cool and dynamic young people today on issues of self-esteem and we're just going to have a nice general conversation with them. Um, this is Amira. And I think Amira can say who she is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just introduce yeah. themselves. Um, so I'm a photographer practicing and I work with And I've just been involved in the arts. I took a gap year this year and I've just been in fields of my interests. I did some stuff for Fashion Week. I did the Javit Art Center opening. So I've done some cool stuff this year, which has led me to studying fine arts next year. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah. And you're 19. Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah, she's already loved half of <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> It's amazing. Okay, I'm Tandika Pillan Somi. I'm still in high school. I go to a German high school and I want to pursue um, psychology, but I also want to be an upcoming uh, model. And who's this next to you? This is my daughter. <laughs> and this is my brother's daughter. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. Yeah. I'm Zara, I'm 13, and my dream is to go study accounting in London at Oxford University. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, I like baking and photography. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So Mira, if you can just tell us a little bit about you, maybe your experience at school, mm -hmm. um, in relation to whatever it is that you felt impacted your self esteem. It could be it could be anything. I think the biggest thing in high school was I mean when you enter high school like you don't really know what to expect. Um, you don't know what the dynamic is, you don't know the social politics of the space, you don't know anything around those issues and you don't know how they're going to affect you. And I think for me the biggest self-esteem thing was how binary clothing and fashion was and how if you didn't have um, you know, the latest top shop high-waisted jeans mm. or the, mm. you know, the new All-Stars or the Air Forces or the Nike. The Doc Martens. Yeah. 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 Or, yeah. you know, or the new bomber jacket from yeah. Top Shop, like, and a crop top. Yeah. You couldn't, you weren't cool enough or you couldn't fit in. And, I mean, I would speak to a lot of girls and I mean, class interplays into it where it's like, it's either class, it's either um, how your style, like, not everyone wants to wear high-waisted jeans yes. and a crop top. Yeah. So I think for me it was always around like what I wanted to wear, how I like styled myself and how I never really felt fully comfortable wearing high-waisted jeans mm. and a crop mm. top. It was just because you know, when you're in high school you want to fit in, you want to yeah. be part of the group, you want to be part of the people. Yeah. But I think once I entered grade 10, I kind of started to step into my own and it wasn't an easy journey, it was really difficult. I think starting to find people that were like to me, um, especially out of school, not mm -hmm. in school, and starting to like kind of fit into my own through fashion, realizing what I like, realizing that I don't have to wear high-waisted jeans mm. and a crop top to fit in. I just need to be assured of myself and yeah. like trust in myself. And I don't know, be comfortable in what you're wearing and how you're putting it out there, you know, because people will attract the energy you're putting out there. They how do we get there though to get there? Because it takes so, so much long. And I was going to say, it takes really years. years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How did you get there? And you were just 19. Yeah. I don't know. I think I got there because I I realized the girls that I was chilling with at the time, um, you know, they would say things and do things that I didn't necessarily agree with. Mm -hmm. And I started to realize that I can't necessarily tolerate the same I'm tired of keeping quiet, mm -hmm. tired of sitting in a box and being pretending like everything that's happening in the space is okay. Um, and I just didn't want to be a part of it. I mean, it was hard. I isolated myself. Yeah. yeah. You know, and. Wow. I mean, you Never know, the school you isolate yourself. <laughs> they isolate yeah, you. Yeah, they do. Of course. They do. I think um, there's a lot that needs to be done. I think there's, I think there's narratives that are being stretched. I mean, the school I went to, like when the taxis were on strike, right? Like mm -hmm. the girls who came from Soweto and were on bursary. You know, the school didn't provide transport mm -hmm. for them. They didn't tra provide yeah. funding for them. They completely neglected the issue and acted like it wasn't there. Yeah. I mean, there was another incident where a young Muslim girl, I was in matric at the time, mm -hmm. or like grade 11, and she just got into grade 8, and she was getting bullied and locked in her locker because she was a Muslim girl who, yeah. you know, who had to wait yeah. for her. Yeah. And the school didn't take up action on, it, on issues mm -hmm. around yes. Islam, Islamophobia. They didn't mm -hmm. do anything around those things. And there was no education process going through. And honestly, I do think it's because our systems are run by white people. Yeah. yeah, but Amira, you know what? Because look at Zara, Zara is in 
primary school yeah. level. But as he was speaking, I could see her yeah. kind of relating to you. Mm. And you look at the age gap at U19, yeah. she's mm. 13. Yeah. Yeah. But already at this age, Zara is those, identifying yeah. with it. And the thing is, if you look at it, Zara is like part of the new South Africa. Sure. Yeah. But yeah. still experiencing. Yeah. yeah. So Zara, like, uh, can you relate to Amira yeah. anyways? Yeah, really? like even like last year, it was Heritage Day, like yeah. Culture Day. And they'll be like, you ju- you'll be judged if you're wearing uh, African zulu <sighs> of and then I was just like, but like all the same, yeah. same people, yeah. and like you're seeing people, everybody, the cool people are yeah. uh, white, uh, mm. white, blue-eyed, and blonde hair. Yeah. There's no mm. plus-size people, mm. and plus-size shouldn't be a thing. Sure. Yeah. Like when yeah. you look at it, you must be like, yeah. oh, she's normal. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, that's, a, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Remember the story I told you about my daughter last week yeah. as well? Yeah. At school, a young boy, eight-year-old, saying to her, um, they're lying that I have a crush on you because you're fat. You know? But, so again, the school, mm, yeah, I looked at the school first. What, what is the school's response? Yes. How do they, like what yeah. you're saying? You know, how do they deal with it? When they said, no, we spoke to the young man. I said, no, it can't mm, just be the young man. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, what else is going Because yeah. clearly, this is an issue. Next thing, Zanda grows up as this insecure little mm. girl in the world. And it started with a little, uh, with an eight year old boy saying, saying this, something yeah, that, to that you yeah. know, whether she loses that weight or not, it's, it, yeah. that's not the issue, like Zanda was saying. But the main thing is, um, if we don't deal with it at that yes. foundation level. Yeah. Yeah. Nip it in the bud. Yeah. And it's a systemic thing. It's yeah. a it's, it's, Absolutely. It, 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 there's so many things that need to change because I think sometimes we look at very surface issues sure. um, in, in, in how, to, in how mm. to change things. But if I think about my mm-hmm. own experience, mm-hmm. I don't even think I thought about it as self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, those words never... Sure. I don't think my mother yeah. or father... Yeah. 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 I'm a lot yeah. older yeah. than all yeah. of you. Yeah. 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 You never knew what it was, but you knew at a point how it impacted you. Yes. I remember going to university, and then by then I'd moved to Australia. Yeah. But I was a very quiet person. I always felt that if I spoke, my words didn't have any import. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I always thought that, are oh, these white people know yeah, more? They speak yes. You know, they, yes. 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 Um, Finally, yeah. So I didn't say anything until a lecture of mine said to me, I know you've got more to say. Mm. And from there, you know, from my work and whatever else, he said, I know you've got more to say, mm. and don't feel so inferior that you are keeping quiet. You, you and, I, and it's all because of yeah. how you grew up, yeah. never mind racially, you sure. know, you, sure. that's, what, that's what we had to experience. Yes. It's that feeling and that the words always being told that you are not yeah. as good as. Yes. Yeah. Good as. Yeah. 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 Tea? So it's What's your experience? Okay, in my school we are allowed to like voice our opinions mm. or if there's a racial problem or culture problem, we're allowed to voice it. We mm. have the right of speech. Mm-hmm. And I know like many schools don't have that. Like my yeah. primary school we all had to like you know Before be the, the same. Mm. I had to have my hair up, mm. I couldn't have it out. Mm. And like when I went to my new school we could have our hair anyhow, the boys mm. could have it long, we could mm. have mm. it crazy or whatever. Mm. And I feel like my school gave us a space where we can explore who we want to be mm-hmm. and, wow. you know, find that's ourselves. That's amazing. Yeah. Sure. Because I know, like, many other schools, you have to be prim and proper. You can't be who you want to be. Mm-hmm. So. And do you I'm get asked a lot, like, oh, your mom is Indian, your dad yeah. is Zulu. So it's like, what are you? Yeah, then mm-hmm. people will be like, oh, because your dad's black, I'm black. Mm-hmm. Or you look more Indian, Indian so you mm-hmm. should classify yourself as Indian. Or mm-hmm. are you colored because you hang out with a lot of colored people? <laughs> and it's but like no. it's crazy. <laughs> it's true. Oh, cool. In South Africa, yeah. it's, it's a, you have to be yeah. in a box. Yeah, you, you, can't, be yeah. you can't be an in betweener. Yeah. And it's like, mm. no, it's not South even in between it. Yeah. Why must you what? always have to have wow. a label? Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. For everything. Yeah. I'm just telling it. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yeah. I'm South African, I'm yeah. human, yes. why do you want to fight? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, sure. Like, yeah. Let me be a human. Yeah. 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 So and that actually, that experience is actually beautiful to draw on because yeah. Zara could have a best friend who's Kosa yeah. or Zulu, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. on Heritage Day, she chooses to wear her best friend's outfit yeah. Zulu yes. because yeah. I want to know more because, okay, yeah. always grown up as Muslim, so that's, I know yeah. that. Yeah. Let yeah. me explore yes. and know There's a learning. You know, it's a learning. Interchange. Yeah. 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 So, like what you were saying, yes, is so important. It took 
that lecturer, yeah. at least someone who was in that position to say, he or, he or she mm. was that person yes. in your yeah. life yeah. who said, hey, yeah. I see you. Yeah, absolutely. Because sometimes it just takes... Yes. I, I think you said that the last yeah. time we had lunch, remember? Yeah. You said, guys, let's make a deliberate thing of saying, yes. I, I see you. I yes. see you. Yeah. Compliment each other. Yeah. Compliment each other. Because do you another, know what you do to another yes. woman in a mall yeah. who's going through the most? Yeah. Yeah. Because maybe as an eight-year-old, whatever happened to her as a young person, yeah. so yeah. suddenly I'm walking mm. in the mall and someone says, you look stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, me and Lucas, you look beautiful. Mm. Yeah. So we need to be that for ourselves because... A lot of it's not too late, but damage has been done to yes. a lot of people, yeah. and you grow up already as that damaged, low yeah. self esteem person. So, you guys are so blessed to yeah, have absolutely. these conversations yes. and ask us, and you know, and, and, and the, the, the desire and the strength to fight it. Yeah. Because how many people, I mean, look at me, at 19, there was no right. way I was even talking you about binary and non-binary. But you probably and, had it. No, yes. it, it was all sitting yeah. in here, yeah. but not a, there was not even a, a chance yeah. that it would come out. Because you always felt that, first of all, you couldn't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That the whole sort of world would come falling down on top of you, even if you raised your voice. So I'm so glad that, that mm. it can happen this way. Um, whether it's in school, whether it's in your peer mm -hmm. circles, yeah. with your family, yeah. because now no one keeps quiet. Sure. Now it's if this is unacceptable, yeah. people of any age sure. need to say that it is. Yeah. yeah. Where do you get your referencing from? Because I, I know you love photography, but where do you your inspiration is what the magazines and all that? Um, yes, like okay, Google, and sometimes yeah. I go on my mom's yeah. phone. <laughs> 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 That's where I was <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Really cool for yeah. wow. So I'll get my inspiration from him, YouTube. The presentation. Yes. Mm -hmm. She sees it. She sees it. She's getting yeah. strong. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Social yeah. media telling it? Social yeah. media. I feel like social media isn't real. Someone can like post something, but behind the scenes <laughs> is something totally yeah. different. Yeah. They can be going through, I don't know, yeah. the worst things possible. Mm. But I feel like you need to be true to yourself and be true what in what you post. Um, be yourself. Like I know a lot of people have self confidence issue or self image issue, and they're afraid to be who they are. And you shouldn't be afraid. And social media has a big impact on on. Oh, okay. To be cool, you need to post a picture like this for girls. Oh, more skin, yes. more lights, and that's not. Yeah. And not wear the same outfit twice. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Imagine yes. that pressure now of yeah. the latest yeah. jeans, yes. the yeah. latest yeah. sneakers. Yeah. Oh, and then you're like, oh, okay, I posted this sticker. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just let some just now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have only that. Every picture is false. Yeah. Yeah. It's false in the yeah. Yeah. Or even if they're like tag a certain brand, they want to make sure that brand sees them yes. and yeah. them on yeah. their Instagram. So wow. it's like, guys, look at me. Do you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, a brand posted me. I'm you know, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, yeah. you find that it puts you under more pressure? Yeah, I guess so. But for me, it's like my Instagram is for fun. It's okay. just Good. like, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. this is what I'm wearing okay. today, yeah. or this is how I feel, how I look. But it's not something I'm like, okay, I need to post today yeah. because I haven't posted yesterday. Okay. Or mm -hmm. I don't Good. Do so it's not controlling yeah. yourself. Nice. Sure. Okay. Mira, you. <laughs> She's like, wow. <laughs> I think for me, social media is honestly, because I mean, I'm always around influencers and creatives. It's business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you look at it as a, as a way of, if you if you yourself are using it to make yourself feel better and feel affirmed, you're not going to have a good time on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm -hmm. You're going to fall into the pits. Yeah. You're going to, yeah. you know, think, overthink, you know, and again, like what you're saying, like you're mm -hmm. going to, Sit there and be like, okay, at six o'clock today, I'm yeah. gonna yeah. post this photo, it needs to look like this. Yeah. You know, the contrast needs to be like this. Yeah. And you just say, like, don't use it for those reasons. You know, you can use social media, could be used in a positive way. And like I said, business marketing. Yes. You know, if you want to start something, Instagram right now is probably one of the best social media platforms to do that. Yeah. Um, and if you're using it for those right reasons and you know why you're using it, I think you could be okay. I think social media can be a positive thing. Yeah. But I mean, I think the worst thing about social media is the backlash you get and yeah. the, the comments yeah. and yeah. 
people's need to tell you things yeah. that you don't mm. actually need to know. Yeah. Okay. Once you get over that, you know, I want to speak to Mwenya. Mwenya can sit here Quickly, you go because we okay. want to hear your voice too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, Mwenya will just be filming. <laughs> Please tell us your journey and your experience. Oh, oui. You guys, are yeah, yeah, amazing. come on. Hi. <laughs> Moenya, you are just as young. Come on. Okay. Yeah, you and what's your story? Oh, okay, quickly. 25. Oh, gosh, I said no, that on camera. <laughs> 25 in my second degree. Second degree? Wow. Yeah. It's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I think my journey really just started like I was a chubba rub kid. So it, yeah. it wasn't the easiest. Yeah. And I think I found my in to be cool through yeah. athletics. Yeah. So I started running and running and running and you notice when you're really good at something, yeah. everyone is on your band back. Oh yeah, that's yeah. amazing. So, uh, yeah. And eventually you actually start um, realizing like, hey, do, you actually have to first ask yourself, do I really even like this thing or do I like the hype of oh, it? Yes. You know, kind of thing. And I think at grade seven, I didn't know. Sure. And so when I went to high school, I, I actually made a promise to myself. I said, I'm not gonna go to a kind of everywhere where everyone's gone. I'm gonna go to a different high school and I'm gonna break out. Okay. But my breakout was harder because I went to a private high school that was majority white. <laughs> and it was, it, it was hard because again, the cool kids were, Blue eyed and blonde haired <laughs> and stuff like the that. The bane of our lives. <laughs> so you start to fall in the background, and I think I eventually started to just like like myself. And that's hard to say. Mm. Like, like I don't mm. think a lot of people like themselves. Yes. Yeah. Most kids, and I and I say that on an average, mm -hmm. go through the they follow the herd. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's the sort of uh, few. Sure. Amira, yeah. um, a few mm. others. Mm. I wasn't even part of that. I still followed that. <laughs> yeah, I followed the mm. cool girls. We all did. Yeah. Okay, mm. I didn't follow the cool girls. No, no, yes. I followed the cool girls mm. because mm. I didn't want to be seen as the nerd. Okay. Yeah. Even though I was clever at school. Yeah. Um, even I though I was not for them, them was but for my cool. parents. I had to take that report home. Yeah. So it didn't matter what yeah. was happening in school. Sure. I didn't want to be that nerd. Okay. So I wanted to be here with cool. cool. chicks yeah. and whatever else. And it takes a, it takes a really strong personality to yeah. say no. Yeah. The one thing I will, and it sounds very really weird, it sounds like those 1980s drug campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do any drugs. Yes. Even though Where were you in 1980? Yeah, I don't know exactly. No, I just... <laughs> Other people yeah. were doing a whole oh, lot yeah. of things in my peer yeah. group. Yeah. Um, that was the one thing where I was like, oh, that was yeah. So now, if we could go back mm. and yeah. be tea and be, you yeah. know, yeah. and mm. all these young people now, what would we say to someone who says, okay, so it is cool to just like, like you say, it must be so uncomfortable to be like, actually, I'm not going to hang out with them mm. at so that age. Because you need yeah. to, you know, so yeah. what would you say to your younger self now? If Goodness. Mm. You know, it's such a difficult thing because I thought I was speaking to my younger self yeah. when I spoke to my daughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? That you don't have to fit in yeah. with your, your, your group of friends. It's important for you to stand out, for you to be different. Yet, she still tried in her way, yeah. even though she, she wasn't as awful as they were, but she, in the look, she sure. needed to be there. Yeah. Do, do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know how, if it's something that you have to go through mm. in the hope that maybe if you had to go through it again, yeah. you'd have a, a, a different viewpoint. Because we speak with such, we speak with such knowledge yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very yeah. difficult sure. to say, this is what I would do going back, because you'd be that very same person. Yes, that's, yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, in, a, in, the same, yeah. in the same system. Because yeah. you have to go through that to yeah. come out the other end and go, oh, that was sure. necessary. Cool. Cool. <laughs> and I so wish that all these conversations, the Would teachers, the yeah. You know, the, the people who run these institutions yeah. can understand yeah. how important it is to celebrate everybody. Yeah. Because not everybody goes in there being, um, you know, a straight girl yeah. and a, and a oh, straight yeah. boy. Sure. Do you know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Oh, Yet yeah. those conversations are never spoken about. Mm. Never, ever. I had a teacher say to me in what's now grade, what, um, when you're about to finish? So that was kind of fine. Mm. Uh, yeah. I said, I'm sorry, because I was a man. Mm. 
If you, if you don't um, go crazy and push on my paper, like go around picking up papers, mm. in the next 20 years, find me and I'll give you, I'll pay you. Because I was so, my son, yes. say what you know. Yeah. Yeah. He used to say, he used to like to say, it. When you are in Italy, I'm like, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And he'll say, you, if you don't lose your mind, then fine. I hope I was, you I was, so I with the I don't think the bird is alive. <laughs> yeah. My mom. So imagine what mm. that did to my mom. Yeah. Yes. I didn't tell my mom. My cousin, who mm. we were in the same class, told my mom. He was, he was so hurt about like how yeah. he made fun of style yeah. class or whatever. My mom, like every time she met him, was like, Ty is doing well. <laughs> She's not what you did, she is. You know, like, she has to look at her back. But basically, instead of him saying, I like you being like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, be, yeah. be yourself, just stay like that, whatever. You know, he tried to just push Dim it down. down. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and the, you know, those days in our time, they would use words like, hey, you're such a tall boy. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. what is your dad saying? Mm -hmm. What is yeah. your dad's yeah. a pastor? Yeah. What, what yeah. do your parents say yeah. about you being like that? Yeah. So it really does take some little um, revolution inside yes. yourself that yes. you're not even aware of. Yeah. So that's why it's important if you identify it in yeah. little people, yeah. like what you to bring, bring it out, to bring it out, out. Yeah. to be yeah. that yeah. bigger sister, yeah. Yeah. and not necessarily to your own blood, yeah. and just like yo, I see you, keep it yeah. up. I like yes. the fact that you just yeah. rock the way you you dress yeah. and how you express yourself. Be that person yeah. because that's what um, someone yeah. might remember yeah. instead of remembering the the, the words negativity. That did. But you always end up yeah. remembering the negativity and oh, the negative course. comments. Absolutely. Of the only thing I did that was out of the mm -hmm. the norm was to try and change my uniform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I to Maybe the short. <laughs> the shorter. I wore <laughs> baby sandals instead of the brown <laughs> shoes. Got caught to the principal <laughs> office. But but there was a bit of an act of rebellion. In that. There we go. But in terms right. of. Uh, yeah. That yeah. Zara? Yeah. Um, I also had an experience so I was um, in like Stedford and like, I'm a shy girl in school and I'm like really quiet yeah. and I still felt like they were like, is that the same person? So then we, like, they were getting the awards and yeah. everything and then it was Afrikaans I still felt. Oh, and then a black girl, yeah. she won yeah. that. I still felt that. That's awesome. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then every, like, this girl next to me was like, how did that go? And she's like, Afrikaans yeah. speaking. Yeah. Oh and my gosh. Like, That pants. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so I even got um, bullied by Muslim girls. Yeah. Well, because uh, I, like they wore short skirts because mm -hmm. they were cool. Yeah. And when I wore my pants, everybody was like, "No, you be like a boy." And uh, but so then I got used to it, and I was just like, mm -hmm. "Pants are cool. Yeah. Pants are cool. You know? Pants are exactly yeah. Yeah. And it's like whatever." Way to go at your age to already be like, no, but I just, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable. I just want to yes. wear And Tasneem, what are you going to be telling your daughter? And I'm sure you are telling her. Yeah, you know, I want her to, and that's one thing I never hear. I want her, like when I look at her, I want her to see herself the way I see her. When she looks in the mirror, I always tell her how beautiful she mm. is. Like I do, look at her TikTok videos that she does, like she yeah. herself, and I can't get over how gorgeous she is. And that's the one thing that I so want hard. her and her other two sisters, yeah. even my son, to grow up realizing yeah. that yeah. Um, when they look at themselves in the mirror, and the one thing that they did, and I always tell them, it's yeah. what inside, how you treat people, mm -hmm. that's, going, that, that's where the beauty comes out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's how you're going to treat the person next to you. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong in being good to the person next mm -hmm. to you, regardless of the skin color, regardless of the body type. Because automatically, when you give up those positive vibes, you're going to start yeah, receiving it. Absolutely. So it's, it's like putting it out in the universe. Whatever you want to get from the universe, you put it out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Treat the way you would like yeah. to be treated. Mm -hmm. And it's something, it's not a religious belief. It's, yeah. not, it's just something that, it's a human thing, yeah. Yeah. regardless mm. of our race, of our culture. Mm. Um, but yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's respecting. All mm. the people, yeah. even if they hate you completely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> yeah. mm. so, um, Episode I three. Know, yeah. <laughs> Coke ever, like there was a Muslim lady with like a hijab yes, on, yeah. and everybody was like so shocked. Oh my God, it's a Muslim lady! And like mm. they got so excited. But if you see more of that, you'll be like, oh no, it's just like a lady yeah, on exactly. Yeah, yes. Sarah, that is Changing amazing. Yes, be yeah. more watchful. Yeah. 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 So you see the responsibility of media. Yes, the responsibility mm. of what we do socially, mm -hmm. because someone's watching. 
Yes. And then, like, I love how you put it, like, okay, it mustn't be a big deal, like, oh my god, did you yes. see this? It must be, oh yeah, here's another, oh, she's beautiful. That is That's cool. it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm she coming from a country like South Africa. Remember when we were in the UK? Girls, I'm not lying. Yeah. We, we were, there were ladies here from different countries oh, representing yeah. their country. But South Africa stood out the most because yeah. it was so diverse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody came, their own dress code, different yeah. skin colors, different shapes and sizes. But the way we represented South Africa yeah. so mm-hmm. beautifully because of the diversity. Yeah. And that's what I want you guys to yeah. do now. You people, you, you the yeah. youth, you are South Africa, mm-hmm. you are the future. Mm-hmm. And even the fact that all three of you are sitting here, you are so dynamic in your own style. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it and yeah. pave the way for future generations. Yeah. When, yeah? Just a little bit, sorry, because we haven't spoken to you because oh. you've been behind the scenes okay. and now I'm director. Um, just because you do a YouTube channel as well. I do, I do. Do you get any negative feedback and how do you think that impacts you? So, um, I do actually. And uh, I actually got it the most on my first one when I sat by myself. So when I started, I have a YouTube channel. I have a blog and a YouTube channel. And when I introduced my YouTube channel, everyone was like, this is so long, you're so boring, why is your voice like this? And I was just like, wow, but you guys can hate this, wow. And I don't think people really understand the power of their thumbs. Uh, mm. Like there is so much power in your thumbs, yes. you don't really understand to it. Break someone yeah. totally. Exactly. Mm. And I think it it actually took my mom who actually said to me, you know what? Do you enjoy it? She actually yeah. said to me, yeah. Do you enjoy it? I was like, I do enjoy it and I think I can make a change. Then she's like, then you continue it. Good you for know? your mom. Good that's for it. your mom, yeah. That's it. Then you continue it. It, yeah, it really doesn't matter what anyone thinks. Even if, even if ah, your mom is the only one that's watching, I will root mm-hmm. for you. Do mm-hmm. not listen like to it. anyone else, you know, kind of thing. She said, I'll watch your videos. Don't listen to mm-hmm. them because if you enjoy it and you have a passion for it, you know, like you have a passion for yeah. your fashion yes. and yeah. you have a passion mm-hmm. to model, mm-hmm. who cares what anyone else yeah. thinks, you know, because mm-hmm. you're the people who are behind you are much more than the people who yes. are actually oh. against you. And yeah. I don't think we actually cognitively understand yeah. that. That actually, we have a lot more people rooting for us than we do hating us. Yeah. But actually, we focus on those two people who yeah. hate us, yes. that, and then we make them giants. But actually, y'all are not giants. Yeah. Y'all are just yeah. really, yeah. really yeah. tiny. With really loud voices. And they're hurt to themselves. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you know, so they use that they're yeah. projecting yeah. something. Yeah. Or, exactly. You know? So and that's how I actually just grew to continue doing it. Because it was so hard to actually put out a second one because I was just like, Wow, you yeah. don't like my voice, I can't talk. Yeah. How many you don't like the way I done now? Um wow, I I think there's about ten Well done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And keep on doing apart it. Apart from social media, apart from big sisters like us, mm-hmm. it stems from the mothers and their daughters. Mm-hmm. The, it's mm-hmm. so careful it's the your mother mm-hmm. and the aunts, <laughs> yes, in the, your close circle, yeah. mm-hmm. the, the women in your life. Yeah. It's so important the type of relationship that you have with these women. And it's so important the knowledge that us as moms about to our daughters or to our nieces. Yeah. Yeah. To our sons. <laughs> Let's <laughs> not <laughs> forget yeah. that. Yeah. Education yeah. starts at home first. Absolutely. Mm. You know, this is a conversation we're going to have for days. I quite like being behind the camera. (laughs) But you're going to hear my ugly laugh. I think, yeah. Because uh, I think we watch our moms. Sure. Like for the whole makeup thing, I got into it very late. Like very, and I'm still not the greatest at it. I watch these YouTube people, they put like a hundred things on. You know, you put it all on. I'm so perfect. You know? But I watched my mom do it and she's just like, take mm. your time. My sister got into it very quickly. Mm-hmm. You know, as soon as she could, she did and she tested out. She had pink and green and orange yeah. and the whole rainbow. And it was cool for <laughs> her. But rainbow. It took time for me. And she said, but it, it's because also I think I've also watched my mom give me that space to grow. Yeah. There's never been a time where she's been like, so yeah. you're a girl, like, why yeah. putting it in? Yeah. You know, kind of thing. She's given me that space. So I completely agree with you. Okay. I'm really bad. You take the challenge. <laughs> you take the challenge that for self-esteem, let's continue being more um, deliberate. Yes. Mm. Let's trust be deliberate process. and trust the process mm. and be aware and be that change for others. Yes. And, the, empower. The, and empower women. 
So young people doesn't mean only when you're older yes. you start being that woman who empowers. As a young age, be that kind person. Compliment one another. Compliment one another. One another. You know? yeah. Like, I think your socks are hella cool. After oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got that song and I was like, She's wow, so those so are so cool songs. <laughs> oh, okay, there's, let's just say one thing now in conclusion about what we feel about issues around self esteem and how we'd like to change that. Amira. Um, I think the one thing I can say is allow yourself not to feel okay and trust mm. the process in that because the end result of it is always way more and more amazing than where you are right now and it's going to be a continuing thing throughout your life journey you're going to feel discomforted you're not going to there's going to be times where you don't feel okay but allow yourself to feel it because i think the biggest thing is we tell ourselves not to feel it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the minute we let ourselves feel it and we come out of it you've evolved you yeah. know and you're going to keep evolving and if you keep trusting that process mm-hmm. it will you'll be so in yourself and so you have the courage to do anything and you'll feel good and the people in your life will attract to you the right people. You know, the people that the energy you put out will come into your life. So trust the process. Mm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Star? Um, I love what Amira said. For me, it's exactly what you've said in terms of allow the process. Because how I see it is it's natural to go mm. through all the things. There's no way it's life. Mm. You know, there'll be ups and downs. But draw on, like what you said, um, Taz, draw on love. Draw on the, you know, like, oh no, I think you said it. Mm. Um, draw on the people backing you more. Mm. So when you have those moments when you're down, don't stay down. Absolutely. Don't say, I'm depressed and, and stay there and say it's the end of the world. There are people, even if it's just two people, your grandmother and aunt and mom. Draw on that love mm. and let that love, you know, affirm you. And just do uh, practical things of affirming yourself every day, even if it's just yourself. Stop looking for it. Um, outwardly um, and affirm yourself mm. I'm beautiful mm. I'm strong I'm different I'm funny I'm smart I say that all the time yeah. there, we <laughs> there we go there we go you said it comes back okay for me I think like be bold stand out don't put yourself in a box don't let you be like a robot don't be a robot mm-hmm. and I just think that once you love yourself you don't need to care about people's comments mm-hmm. love yourself and Good. Okay, so we know that nobody's perfect, mm. right? but find, be the most perfect imperfect of you. Mm. Find your skin. Oh my word, that mm. is such a cute tweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> find your skin yeah. and affirm it every day. Yeah. Find something that you love on yourself. So when mm. you look in the mirror, whether it's a dumbbell, whether it's the fact that I just found out that both sides, okay, we all know that we have asymmetrical faces, yes. <laughs> but like my one face has been like much better than the other side. So I focus on the one that's better and like uh, be positive about that. But find something that you really love about yourself and draw your strength. Yeah. Love. Okay, so with me, I think you should be you and not them. Yeah. Oh. And be just be you and don't worry what people say mm-hmm. and just be strong and you'll see things will fall in place. Nice. Wonderful. <laughs> I think, wow, you've all said everything so great. Um, have a great foundation and mm-hmm. if you're blessed to have a great foundation hold on to that as tightly mm-hmm. as you can because not mm-hmm. everyone is fortunate to have a great foundation yeah. um, love yourself yes. enjoy yourself mm. like like yourself yes. <laughs> you know and I think if you draw everything with love and if you go out with love you'll definitely receive it back yeah. definitely receive it back and I love what you said about yeah. find the most perfect Imperfect. Imperfect. Yeah. Oh. About yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, never mind me. You just hear my voice. No, I'm. I'm showing you while I am going to. T- no, I'm just going to say one thing. Is that I wish I had friends like all of you in school, because can you imagine what a major change we would have made in institutions? Because that's what helps is when you can identify the person who's most like you. Mm-hmm. That makes a change in yourself and how you feel about yourself. It's not finding that likeness that causes the issue. And I wish I knew you when I was at school. Oh, right. That's it. <laughs>